Hi guys it's J Reviews here, and today I'm gonna review Blackpink's Pink Venom. I never usually review a song as it releases. I either wait for a bit, or review an old song I've already heard that released months or years ago, but Blackpink's song was so good at first listen I had to review it. The song is amazing. I actually had low expectations, and thought this song would be terrible, because from that MV teaser, I wasn't too hyped when I heard the intro part, but damn was I wrong. The intro was the part that I didn't like, from the teaser, so when the intro came on I was like, oh okay, because I wasn't too impressed, but then Jenny sang, and my jaws dropped. Her part slapped, and she made me internally scream in the first 15 seconds, Jenny is my ult bias that's why I was so mg, and then Lisa's part came on and was even more perfect. Both of their parts slapped. When Lisa's part came on, I instantly thought of Rihanna's Pond de Replay, her debut song, not only because Lisa said, one by one and two by two, which is the exact lines as in Pond de Replay, where Rihanna says, one by one, even two by two, but also because she sings it in the exact same style as Pond de Replay. Here's the part. I don't really care tbh that it sounds familiar to Panda Replay, because it sounds really good with the instrumental, and doesn't ruin it. The pre-choruses were really good too, which is not a shocker, since Jisoo Rose know how to slay a pre-chorus. The song has such hype pre-choruses, that I thought maybe the beat drop will be something shit, and it'll ruin the song, because Blackpink for their badass songs, always have amazing pre-choruses and then the chorus is a letdown, or is good but gets boring after some time. I expected a bad chorus or an okay, good gets boring after some time chorus, or a loud noisy chorus, and was met with a surprisingly bop-ass chorus that's an anti-drop chorus, which really was a smart choice to me, because this song is so amazing, and it's not too noisy that having an anti-drop chorus, really keeps the song at a perfect level of volume, and doesn't hurt your ears. Lisa's and Jenny's rap part was something I wasn't expecting at all. Usually their rap parts are over badass instrumentals or fun instrumentals, but they had a more hip-hop, I think it is, instrumental rap. Well whatever it is, you know they slayed and you cannot tell me they didn't. Lisa and Jenny rap duos, or Lisa and Jenny raps alone without duets always slap, be it in a Blackpink song that I love or hate, they never sound bad. The pre-choruses get better with each listen. They're powerful and uncapturing. The bridge part has to be one of Blackpink songs, out of all, best bridge parts. When I heard the song for the first time, Jenny, Lisa's first verse, and the bridge made my jaws drop. Those were the parts that slapped so hard. Now I hear the song properly for the review, and everything just flows so well. I thought maybe I was just overexcited to see Blackpink with a new song since Lovesick Girls, Ready for Love doesn't count in my opinion, just a game song and not an official release, that maybe it's just my blink self thinking the song is good, after waiting for so long, but the song is actually bad, and that I'll listen to it again and I'll hate it. But no, this is a pre-release masterpiece. I love that this song had the Arab elements, I think it was that, because I could hear the Arab sound, but it wasn't too overwhelming like they had in songs like Boombaya, Crazy Over You, I Believe, etc. This song wasn't too loud as their other tracks, as I said above, and it was perfect. Even the last chorus where the beat drop was hard hitting wasn't too loud. Overall this song was perfect, and it really is my cup of tea. Will it become my favorite song of August? IDK I just have to wait and see, when I release my monthly ranking video on Terra 907, my KTube channel. The MV was made really well. It didn't feel like a typical Blackpink MV, IDK what's a typical Blackpink MV, but it didn't feel like it. It was still good though. I love how YG makes Blackpink MVs really simple, and also gives each member solo scenes in their parts. And by that, I mean if it's Jenny's singing part, only Jenny will be in that part, but it's Jenny shot in different ways. The MV had this pretty and colorful vibe at times, and at other times it had this dark and powerful vibe. The outfits were amazing too, I really loved Jenny and Lisa's first verse outfits, I love Jisoo and Rose's outfits throughout the MV, 
and all the members' outfits in the choruses, but in the rap scene, I was confused as to why Jenny was wearing a Manchester United jersey LMAO, it was weird. But besides that I really like the outfits. Me thinks this is Jisoo's era. For the dance, I couldn't really see much except for the chorus, so IDK. In conclusion, this is such a fucking bop and the MV is amazing, and Blackpink all look hot in the MV, especially Jenny and Lisa and their first first look. Stan Jisoo's era, stan this song, stan gorgeous, talented and rich people, stan Blackpink, or else, JK. <laughs> Thousand times, smell that on that mommy. I love a thousand.